Welcome to Insight into Wild Accounting, a McGraw-Hill informative series covering updates and new features of the Wild family of accounting education products. This episode features John Wild, author and acclaimed professor of business and accounting at the University of Wisconsin. In part two of the series, he'll explain how the author team addresses the new revenue recognition rules in their revisions. Probably the most significant topic revision follows from the new revenue recognition rules, which are some of the more far-reaching rule changes that we've seen over the past decade or so. We grappled with various ways to show how the new revenue recognition rules impact introductory accounting, and in particular, merchandising transactions. The most important aim was to make it understandable to our students and readily teachable by instructors. A very important secondary aim was to allow instructors the flexibility to cover as little or as much as they desire in this area. The greatest impact for us is with the merchandising transactions chapter. The key rule change for merchandising is the requirement that revenue be reported at the net amount expected to be received. Accordingly, we now must predict, as an example, sales discounts and even sales returns and allowances. Our solution was to continue to teach merchandising transactions in exactly the same way we always have, with one important twist. Specifically, we add a basic explanation of the revenue recognition changes in the chapter with no entries nor computations. Then, in an appendix, we explain the necessary adjusting entries along with the computations required to report revenue at the amount expected to be received. And importantly, we explain that our usual entries and prior additions using the growth method can be applied under the new rules. However, the use of those entries would now require end of period adjusting entries to reflect items such as predicted sales discounts, predicted sales returns and allowances and so forth. Overall, we believe we have crafted a unique learning system for revenue recognition rules for the introductory accounting instructor and student. We, we put the control for how much to cover in the hands of the instructor. He or she can readily choose not to cover the new revenue recognition rules or can choose to cover all adjusting entries required to meet the new rules. We believe our approach involving the use of adjusting entries to handle the new revenue recognition rules will be what firms will implement in practice as we expect very few companies to fundamentally alter their use of the gross method of record keeping. For more information about the Wild family of accounting products, visit mhhe.com slash wild23e.